Hello, welcome back. This is Coinpix. So today I have a bag of five hundred pounds of two pound coins, and um, we'll see what happens. Now, unfortunately, I'm doing this when it's very dark <laughs> compared with what I normally do in the middle of the day, and um, so we're going to have to hurry. So there's five hundred pounds, two hundred and fifty coins. Let's go through them as quickly as possible, shall we? <laughs> So, what I'm going to do, because it's a bit difficult to get all of them on the table anyway, we'll do 15 bags to start with and see what we come up with. And do it in reverse. Normally I do 10 first and 15 second, but I'll do it 15 first, 10 second, I think. This time just to be different. Uh, I think I think I got these from. It doesn't say. I think I got these from my normal bag, so. We haven't had that much luck with them in recent weeks, so hopefully slightly better luck this week. So looking for commemoratives, they're not these, um, that's quite a nice shiny 2014, but we're not looking for these ter uh, these um, technologies, um, we're just looking for commemoratives, unless they happen to have some error or they're an NIFC or proof or something. Not, with, not, not that we ever see proofs in this country, but uh, there's always the first time I suppose. So let's start, shall we? Nothing in the first one. <gasps> Straight away. Straight away we find the Rio. Handover. That's 2016. Handover. Well, the 2012 it was recent, but um, it's a 2016 to uh, Rio Olympics. Of course, we were due to get the Tokyo Olympics this year, but that's now been postponed from, until next year. Um, but I took eight months to find this particular coin. Eight months. When I first started coin hunting. And that's a nice one to start with. That's definitely a nice one to start with. Yeah. <gasps> what's, what's happening here? And you found one of these the other day. What's going on? <laughs> I'm not going to complain though, but that's unusual, <laughs> should we say, to get two in the space of a, a few days. That's the Mary Rose, they're both above face value. This might be a good hunt. <laughs> Based on the first two finds, anyway. Oh, there's a there's a first conventional find. There's the and that's in decent condition as well. That's a abolition of the slave trade. Not above face value, but that one's a quite, quite a nice example of it. There is a different version with a different background, but never find those, of course. Oh, and there's a Rugby World Cup. Now we're going back to the usual finds. <laughs> That's the 1999 Rugby World Cup. Oh, there's a Charles Dickens. One of the most common commemoratives. <clears throat> oh, and another abolition of the slave trade as well. Not such a good, not such good condition that one. There's another one. There's another one. It's a golden guinea. It's slightly above face value. Very slightly above. It's in nice condition as well. It's a 2013 coin that you don't often find in brilliant condition. So that's after what's that? Four bags. Four bags, we found six coins, seven coins in total, four, uh, six different designs, and three of them are over face value. <gasps> There's another one. Oh, you can't see it. <laughs> okay, come back. You can't see it. There's a. <laughs> oh, you can now. There's a. <laughs> VE Day celebrations. 
some Paul's Cathedral. In London. Not by face value, that one. But that one is. There's another Magna Carta in 2015. I don't get. Um, sorry, I do get quite a few of these, unfortunately. So it's not that special for me. But it is above face value. <gasps> and there's another one. What's going on? There's a. <laughs> Britannia. That's a 20. <gasps> It's a I was going to say that's a 2016, but it's not, it's a 2015. So not only is it a Britannia, but it's the lower mintage, 2015 Britannia. And it's in fairly good condition as well. 650,000 for that one. This is, this is ridiculous. We've got more above face value now than we have at face value. Well, actually we've got the same number of coins, but... Yeah. Oh, there's one. There's, I think that's the right way around, if I do it that way around. I think I'm getting used to it now. Abolition of the Union. No, that one's not above face value, so... Oh, there's another one. That's uh, Brunel's Arches, Brunel's Achievements. Paddington Station Arches. There's a First World War army in 2016. It's in decent condition as well. But that one isn't above face value. It's getting very dark all of a sudden. I think we might be heading towards winter. Oh, there's another Charles Dickens. Second one of those. Oh. There's the other Brunel. Brunel the man, Brunel's portrait. Looking at that, looks a bit worn though, date on that, but yeah. There's another. Brunel's achievement. Oh, sorry, this is um, not Brunel's achievement. This is <laughs> VE Day celebrations at St Paul's. Should be able to tell the difference by now. A couple of those. Ooh. Oh, I do like this one. This is uh, Darwin. Life and works, if you like, and Darwin and the origins of man and all that sort of stuff. Represented on the coin. Not sure why, because this isn't that highly minted, and it's quite difficult to find. If you if you went out and tried to find it and change, it would be quite difficult to find. So I'm slightly disappointed that it's not above face value actually. Oh, let's see another one. Straight off. There's another First World War army in 2016. Again, above face value, but both of those are in fairly decent condition. Oh, yeah. Straight out of the bag, look. There's another Golden Guinea 2013. Probably not in quite as good condition as the previous one, but that's the second of those. Oh, there's a. Oops, wrong way around. A Marconi wireless transmission. Fairly common one, but uh, not above face value. There's another Brunel the man. Brunel's portrait. It's getting very dark very quickly these days. There's Charles Dickens. It's got a nice shiny version of the coin. Oh, another V Day celebrations. 
through each of those two there. Oh, I spoke too soon. <laughs> There's another V-Day celebration, so it makes four of those. Okay, so this is the last bag in each of these. Um, if we get, I think if we get another find, I don't know, we might, I might do a two separate hunts. Um, so there's the Union coin again. Yeah, finding a ton of these V Day celebrations today, aren't we? There's another one. Oh, and, and another Abolition of the slave trade. I think that's the third, yep. Oh, and there's a Marconi wireless transmission. Another one of those. Final two coins and that's it. I think I'm just about I could just about get away with doing the other the other ten, I think. Let's do it. Eight, nine, ten. Yep, there's ten. Hurry up before it gets too dark. See what we can find. Oh, there's the first one, straight out of the bag. Another abolition of the slave trade. So four of those, I think. Well, it's definitely calmed down now since the first. Which is a slightly annoying. So I like to build it <laughs> at the end. Not that you can tell when the queens are going to happen, but. <gasps> what was I just saying? What was I just saying? Oh, it's upside down. There's a King James Bible. So the luck continues in these ten as well. It hasn't got the extra bit of metal on this one. The, well, I think they call it the ghost error. Not really an error. It's not really a ghost, but you know what I mean. Um, not in the best condition either, which quite often they're not for some reason. Uh, well, for the reason it's almost 10 years old probably, but yeah, that one is above face value. That's a nice one to find. And there's another one. Put the right way around. There's a Rugby World Cup from 1999. Not one of my favourites, but it's not above face value, but it's a good coin to find. There's a First World War, Lord Kitchener, 2014. I think, who was it? Somebody was pointing out that they released one of these to celebrate the First World War, to commemorate the First World War in 2015, 20, sorry, 2014, 2015, 2016, 2017, and 2018. Um, but not really a set. Not again, not again. That's in good condition as well. It's a golden guinea once more. For a while I wasn't finding a lot of these and then all of a sudden, just recently, I'm finding a lot again. And there's the... I'm calling it the Robert coin now. Just using first names. As is... Uh, Trevific, I think his name is. No good asking me to pronounce it. But that's the steam engine. That's not one that I saw. But that'll do. There's a Florence Nightingale. Not in the best condition, that one. No, it's not above face value. So I'll put it straight up the top there. But, oh, there's two there. Get rid of this one. This is the Brunel's Arches. Already seen that one a couple of times, or once before. And then another Magna Carta. <laughs> I don't know why I find so many of these Magna Cartas. There's quite a common 
coin, considering they're supposed to be quite rare. I think there's only supposed to be about a million of these. It's a 2015 coin, so it's the second one of those we found. Very shiny 2015s. Another one. I'm oh, sorry, I bypassed the other one. <laughs> this is this is ridiculous. There's two. I keep finding doubles of coins. I'm pretty certain this must be somebody's returns or something because I took eight months to find this particular coin, and I found two in the same hunt. And I was doing more hunts when I was looking for it early on as well than I am now. Oh dear. Well, I'm not going to complain, but that is just. That's just amazing. Um, that's not so amazing, that one. <laughs> that's the abolition of the slave trade. I can't get over that. Eight months it took me. Eight months to find this coin. And there's two in the same hunt. And I don't know. If, I don't think that's ever happened. It might have done. I can't remember it happening. But anyway, oh, this one's broken the bank. Not even sealed. Is the right number of coins? Three. Six, nine, ten, yeah. Oh, well. Need a new bag for that one. Doesn't look like these are going to produce much. This is the last bag, so. Yep, nothing in there. Well, that's just amazing. <laughs> um, we didn't get so many coins in the second batch, only three above face value, but they were good ones. So, uh, well, well, actually, it was more than three, wasn't it? <laughs> It was five, I think. Oh dear, I've lost, I've lost count. Anyway, that's it. Now it's getting really dark. Um, so what, I'll do, what I might do is I'll do this and see if I can um, go through them. I might have to do the wrap up tomorrow morning. Um, so um, if it looks different, that's why. <laughs> but I'm not going to complain. This is ridiculous. I mean, did we get one, two, three, six? seven eight nine ten above face value stop waffling get on with it so i'll be back with the wrap up probably record that tomorrow morning um so bear with me well so having reviewed what i found yesterday and yes i'm recording this the following day um because we've got daylight <laughs> even though it wasn't that late yesterday it was a bit dark so what did we find the usual really. So we found some Charles Dickens, some Act of Union, Florence Nightingale, Marconi, uh, Brunel's designs there, Victory in Europe, uh, Abolition of Slave Trade, um, Rugby World Cup, the Steam Locomotive, um, World War One Outbreak, Lord Kitchener, Charles Darwin and a couple of the uh, uh, World War One Army. However, those aren't the important ones, are they? <laughs> so we found we found a really nice 2015 Britannia, um, which is surprising because they're not normally in that good condition. We found a few, three I think, yep, three of the Golden Guineas, two Magna Cartas, which always seem to be in reasonably good condition lately. Um, we found these are the three that are most difficult to find, I think. The King James Bible, sadly without its ghost error. We also found a Mary Rose, which is one of the coins that takes quite a bit of finding for me. But just recently we've been quite lucky with that one. Not as rare, of course, as the Shakespeare's comedies down here, but uh, <laughs> it's quite uncommon nevertheless but not as uncommon well not uncommon this time but not usually as uncommon as the London Rio handover from 2012 and uh, not only did we find one we found two that was just 
that one's probably the better condition of the two, I would say, but that was amazing three finds in particular, four finds overall, three designs. Um, but I'm not going to say no to any of the queens in, in good condition, like most of them were, actually. The um, King James Bible not being in that great a condition, but uh, most of the others were. So, that was it really. We didn't find a fake coin either, which was surprising. That's probably storing them up for next time, but um, yeah, we didn't find a fake coin. We only found, well, as far as I know, if you, if you know any different, let me know, but I don't think so. And um, yeah, we had a great hunt there. That was essentially uh, six different designs above face value, 10 overall coins above face value, which is back on a par where it used to be when I first started doing this a couple of years ago. Um, so, yeah, I mean, it was a good hunt. I was quite sure that there wasn't going to be a great number of finds, but it turned out there was. Anyway, so thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe, and I'll be back next time with more coins. Don't.